Hi guys and welcome and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be talking about makeup care. And if you like any content that is fashion, beauty, or college a little bit and lifestyle, then make sure to subscribe and join my channel. So today I'm gonna be giving you guys some makeup care tips. And I thought of this video because you know a lot of people do makeup videos, collections, tutorials, and everything, but they don't ever tell you how to actually take care of your makeup, if you know what I'm saying. Like makeup can last. I mean, obviously, if it's expired, then get rid of it. But if you want to keep your makeup in good condition, especially if you have a lot of makeup, like if you do a lot of makeup, if you're a makeup artist, anything like that. So today I'm gonna give you guys a few tips on how, sorry, I just lost my train of thought. Today I'm gonna give you guys a few tips on how to take care of your makeup and keep it nice and you know, of quality, especially when you spend a lot of money for it because girl, makeup is expensive. So I'm gonna get started. Okay, for starters, we're gonna start easy and talk about makeup brushes. A few to show you if you don't know what a makeup brush is. I use these today, so that's why they're dirty like that. But <laughs> the point is that you need to make sure you're cleaning your brushes, especially if you do your makeup every day or most days out of the week, because I do my makeup a lot quite often. Oh my god, sorry that my hair looks so jacked up. I had this one for a few days. But anyway, so make sure if you are doing your makeup a lot to clean your makeup brushes. I recommend to clean them at least every two weeks because I know it's not as easy to try to clean them every day or clean them every week especially if you have a full-time job or you're a full-time student or anything like that it might be difficult for you to clean them so often but i definitely recommend cleaning them that way and if you can't find a good makeup cleaning like soap or anything like that you can always use dishwashing liquid. That's what I've always used, especially when I was younger and I was like just getting into makeup. Dishwashing liquid is really good makeup brushes and I recommend you get something that you can scrub it on. Like, let me give you an example. This is the dishwashing liquid I use. It's Dawn. I got this from Dollar Store and it's a little, but it's lasted a really, really long time because you're just using it for your makeup brushes. So you're gonna be needing that much of it. And trust me, a little goes a long way with the Dawn. And I definitely recommend if you do use dishwashing liquid Dawn, or one that's sensitive, you know? Like, you know how in the Dawn commercials they be using the soap on the duckies? Yeah, the baby ducks, yeah. Something simple like that, but I know right now, give me a second. Okay, I found it. This is what I was talking about, as in something that you, like something with ridges, so when you do clean your brushes, they can get like deeper into the brush. You can really get out all the gunk and makeup, you know what I'm saying? Okay, that's my first tip. For my second tip, I would definitely recommend that you keep your makeup stored in a place that doesn't move a lot. Like I keep my makeup in drawers. Most people keep their makeup in drawers, but if you do keep them that way, whenever you use them, make sure you don't just be throwing them in there or slamming them. You gotta make sure your drawer is nice and organized so that way your palettes don't get damaged. As soon as that palette gets damaged, girl, that's it. The value of makeup has gone down already. So you wanna make sure that you're keeping your palettes from getting damaged, especially if you have a lot of them. And I feel like I've had a lot before. I don't have as many because I do get rid of my makeup sometimes, but if you do have a lot of them, then I recommend keeping them somewhere where they can just be still. They're not moving around a lot. Um, For my next tip, we're gonna talk about facial liquids like concealer and foundation so i keep my foundations okay well let me show you here's my foundation bottle i would keep it standing in a solid place so it doesn't move around a lot and i know a lot of people use a makeup bag and there's nothing wrong with using a makeup bag but i do recommend if you do like want to take better care of your foundation and stuff and keep it from getting too jumbled around and stuff and i would keep it standing or sitting on something i have these little makeup organizers i can show you guys one of them not that neat but I keep my stuff in here like this. Here's a few things. Mostly, this is just extra stuff or like my eyelash glue and my eyelash thingy me thingies. And then my foundations are over here. Ignore that mess right there. But keep them standing and I don't really mess with them a lot. Everyone doesn't like their makeup on display and I can understand that. I really get it, especially if you have a thing about like neatness or something like that. But it can be neat. But I'm just saying that if you don't want it to be like that, you can always get drawers that are taller so you could have them standing inside of your drawer. My drawers I also have, um, I have bins, so things that I put in them are like separated from each other. Main thing is to keep your makeup organized and still, basically. Now, the next thing we're gonna talk about is powders, specifically like eyeshadow, blush, highlight palettes. I see a lot of people use those a lot often and they like really move their brush around like this. That's what you don't wanna do. You always wanna tap, tap your brush because if you do this, for one, you're gonna be picking up way too much product. You don't need that much. I swear, I promise you don't need that much. I'm not saying I'm the best or the pro. I make up or nothing like that, but 
you don't need that much <laughs> basically is what i'm saying so yeah you want to make sure you're tapping things and when you have the chance you can like blow it off or dust off the extra powder that flares out onto the rest of the palette because you don't want your powders to start mixing and then your palette gets really messy i y'all i know y'all know what i'm talking about like there are some palettes that get really really messy and all the eyeshadows start having fallout and everything like that and there's a way to keep your fallout neat even if your palette does have fallout just make sure you dust it off when you're done using it and when you sit it down you open it again there won't be as much fall up think about it just think about it another tip i have is to use hand sanitizer before you start doing your makeup if you do other things first like let's say you do your hair first or something if you don't have hand sanitizer just go wash your hands but i keep a thing of hand sanitizer right here just in case or like if i do messy loud colorful eyeshadow i can just put on some hand sanitizer real quick before i move on to my face because that way it keeps a lot of bacteria and germs from transferring so much because you think think about it you use your brushes every day and you use the same handle so you don't want that handle to just keep developing germs over and over again and that is just a tip that i use to prevent that and especially when you're mixing things like if you have a lot of bright colorful eyeshadow and then you have it all over your hands you're not going to want to go touch your palette because you're going to have eyeshadow all over your palette if you know what i mean just a suggestion <laughs> My next tip is for my people who like to wear fake eyelashes. Now, I know a lot of times it's hard and you're tired and you just want to rip them off and throw them anywhere, but I recommend keeping their packaging. These are the ones I have on right now. Keeping their packaging out so when you take them off, you can just put them right back in your packaging and place all your eyelashes. Honestly, eyelashes, there's not that much bad that can happen to them, but hopefully you'll just want to place them somewhere where they can look neat or they're really not in the way. Um, Because usually people have few to a collection of eyelashes i know i have a collection of eyelashes because it just is what it is i don't know what to say but even if you don't and you only have a few which is fine by the way which is fine even if you only have a few eyelashes you do want to keep them nice and neat so you can keep using them because when you leave them out that prevents you from being able to use them again because most of the time they get damaged or they just fly all over the room or you just can't find them so i definitely recommend to keep your eyelashes and to make them last longer them back in their packaging putting them back in their packaging really helps them last longer and gives you more uses out of them because you don't want to just use your eyelashes once especially because a lot of like mink eyelashes they cost a lot of money like if i'm paying 13 dollars on eyelashes i better be able to wear them like 20 times you know what i'm saying so i just recommend that you put them back in their packaging to prevent damaging them my last tip to taking care of you guys makeup is to make sure that you keep things separated or as much as you can make sure you keep them separated like keep your palettes in one place keep your brushes in one place keep your eyelashes in one place because the more they're mixed together the more they just get thrown around and damaged and you want to make sure that you keep your makeup taken care of like if you know what i'm saying like makeup is not cheap i'm telling you makeup is expensive it takes a big part of your check if you work everything like that so you're gonna want to take care of what you're buying so therefore i recommend not only getting makeup organizers but just having certain areas and drawers where you can place your items so that they don't get thrown around and damaged. And if you do use a makeup bag, I, I'm not gonna lie, I strongly suggest you only use them when you travel or if you like are really busy and you just need to pick some things up and take them with you all the time because keep all your makeup in a makeup bag. Honestly, you know makeup bags get really messy. So you just wanna make sure that you try to keep your makeup as clean as possible, especially because you're gonna keep using it. So that's all I gotta say. Okay, so I know this video was really short, but I did want to make sure I got my upload up. I wanted to make sure that I kept up with my uploading schedule. And I know it's quality over quantity, but I feel like I kind of make my videos quality too. Even though I can make a lot of them because it's easy for me to edit and stuff. At a reasonable pace, but I do want to say that we have today's upload. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want even more makeup tips, you can go ahead and follow me on Instagram. Or let me know in the comments what else you guys want to see from me and we can make it happen. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!